he goes. Over that rise. About 300 yards right of my position. Can you see him, Captain Magenta? I, I see him, Captain Blue. And he's trapped. There's nothing in his back but the sea. And he'd never make it down the cliff face. It's a sheer drop. He'll have to give up. Give up? Don't you believe it. You've had field experience. Have you ever known a Mr. On agent to give himself up? Check. Will you call in the angel strike? No. You have the new electro-ray rifle, and this is your chance to give it a real test. The Spectrum scientists claim it'll be effective on Mr. Nye's subjects, and you're going to see if they're right. Can you get a clear shot at him? S.I.G., Captain. Range 100. Taking aim. No. He's gone to ground. Wait. Up again. Making for cliff edge. There. Got him! Oh, oh no. Oh, that's awful. Awful. I never thought. Good shooting, Captain. Hey, what's the matter? You look real beat. The effect of this rifle, it's... It's frightening. He... He just wasn't a man anymore. It just... Just... Captain Magenta, get one fact very firmly fixed in your mind. We are not fighting against men. We're fighting against Mysterons. And although they may look like men, they are completely inhuman. They have no feelings, no minds of their own. They're just puppets. What you killed was already dead. He died when the Mysterons took him over. Remember that, always. Yes. Yes, you're right, Captain. It was only that, for a moment... Forget it. It's a tough job, Captain, but it has to be done. Now let's get back to the SPV and report that the Electro-Ray rifle works. It'll be standard equipment in all patrol and pursuit vehicles from now on. This is the voice of the Mr. Hans. Captain Black, explain the failure of your agent in Cornwall. The Cornish agent was eliminated by members of Spectrum. They used a new weapon a rifle which can immediately destroy even a subject possessing the power of the Mysterons. The weapon the Earthmen plan to use against us shall be turned on them. You will obtain one of these weapons. It will be a new tool in our campaign against Earth. Dears, easy now. I'm just gathering your eggs. It's about time they scientists got round to making a machine to do this job. Hello, then. What can I do for you, stranger? Spectrum. SPV required. Urgent. Oh, are. Identification, then? Yeah. And I'm in a hurry. All right, then. That grain silo's got what you want. Here, hold on a bit. Let's see that identity again. I thought. Too slow, Earthman. What? No, you don't. You're Captain Black. Good. Very good. This should bring Spectrum to me. But I'll need protection. I think I know how. Colonel, an urgent message. Vehicle base 60E to cloud base. Report theft of SPV. Position of base 60E, quickly. North Devon, England. Video tracker in clear focus, sir. One subject only. Moving south from Exeter area. Prepare to launch Angel Flight, Lieutenant. And get me Captain Blue. I'll speak to him direct. Wait. Our subject stopped, Colonel. And unless the video tracker's out of commission, he's in the middle of Bodmin. Hold, Angel Flight. SIG, sir. Captain Blue, 
Report your position. Blue here. Captain Scarlett and I are at Southampton Heliport. Captain Blue, a stolen SPV driven by Captain Black is now in the center of Bodman, Cornwall. All available agents take position on the Tamar bridges. And you and Captain Scarlett get into Cornwall and after him. You have the new rifle. This may be our chance to dispose of Black once and for all. SIG, Colonel. Gosh, what a smashing car. I bet that can really move. But there ain't no windows. How does the driver see where he's going? Hey, look. The driver's getting out. Car, what a classy uniform. All black. Here, mister. Would you tell us how you drive your car? Well, my dear, it's pretty difficult to explain. It's a special kind of car. I'll say it is. W would you... Would you let us take a look inside, mister? Well, I'm not sure. Please, mister. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Since you're such nice children, I'll take you for a short trip. Super. Fab. Come on, Robert. No, I can't. I'm supposed to be home by now. I ought to. All right, baby. You run on home. But I'm not missing the chance. Nor me. All right. Quickly now. Up you come. That's it. Now you, son. Right. We'll be on our way. Betty, Timmy, don't go. I don't like... Subject moving again, Colonel. Crossing Bodmin Moor on Truro Road. Captain Blue, what's your position? Just crossing the Tamar River, Colonel. All roads out of Cornwall now covered. Good. Black's heading for Truro, across Bodmin Moor. Get after him. S.I.G., Colonel. Betty! Betty! Tea time! Betty? Betty, where are you? Mrs. Pengalli, Mrs. Pengalli. Robert! Well, where's Betty? I thought she was with you and Timmy. They've, they've gone off in a funny kind of car with a man in a black uniform. Car? Black uniform? Oh, my sakes. Oh, dear, I hardly... Oh, quick, Robert, me love. You come with me. We am going to the police as fast as us knows how. Where are we going, mister? Not very far. Don't worry. Think of it as a mystery to her. <laughs> a mystery to her. Or perhaps a mister on to her. foot down, Captain Scarlet. We're still a few miles behind him, even after that stop he made. I'd like to know what game he's playing. An unpleasant one, that much is certain. I... What? A police roadblock? What on earth? Roy, you're covered, so don't try nothing. No. Where are they? What are you talking about? Why have you stopped us? We are Spectrum officers in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. Your superiors have been notified. Why... You're not... I see. You... You don't know. Know what? That fella in the car you're after. Got two kids with him. Kidnapped him or some such. Children? A dirty... Stand clear! We're gonna get Captain Black this time, Captain Scarlet. And when we catch up with him, have that electro-ray rifle ready. Right. 
Move. You let us go, do you hear? Oh, come on, Timmy. We can't do anything. You wait till the police find out. I'll wait, but not for the police. If I know Spectrum, they're on my trail right now. Now that I have the Electro Ray rifle, I only hope Scarlet tries to stick his nose in. Approaching Troro now, Captain Blue. I wonder. Cloud based a Spectrum pursuit vehicle. Video tracker indicates Black's vehicle has halted on the cover on outskirts of Truro. You are approaching his position now. Undercover? I wonder. Look, that warehouse we just passed. I saw it, Captain. The doors were open. And if that wasn't an SPV inside, then I'm a, a Mr. Up. Come on, and bring that rifle. Can't see anyone inside. Could he have abandoned the vehicle? But why leave it in full sight? He must have known we'd be tracking him. Well, there's only one way to find out. But just in case, I don't think we'll go in by the front door. Get the hover pack. Right, that's on. If you create a diversion, I'll get up to the roof. There should be a skylight, since there aren't any side windows. SIG, Captain Scarlet. Off you go. And if Black's in there, watch out. He'll have an electro-ray rifle too, remember? Check. I'm on my way. Now to create a diversion. Captain Black! Black! I know you're in there. This is Captain Blue. I'm coming in after you. Do you hear me, Black? He heard all right. The doors have shut. Captain Blue, don't try anything, or these children will suffer. It's up to you, Captain Scarlet. Right. Let's hope this gives Black a surprise. Now! Scarlet, now for it. I won't miss this time. Stay where you are, Scarlet. Or this child gets it. Ow! Let go of me! You devil. You fell for it, Scarlet. This time you're finished. Drop that rifle, Scarlet. That's right. And now, wait for it. Point blank range, Scarlet. I can't miss. Captain Scarlet. This is the voice of the Mr. Arms. You have troubled us for too long. Now you will be destroyed. What the? You let go of her. There. Good lad. Right. Now to get rid of these rifles. Out of the skylight. One. Two. Now, Captain Black. We're both unarmed, and it's you that's trapped. But I've still got the kid, Scarlet. I'm going out of here, and you're not going to stop me. And you'd better tell Captain Blue not to try either. Give me that hover pack. Quickly, or else. Oh, you're hurting. All right, I've got no choice. There it is. But you won't get far. You think not? Well, as a precaution, I'm taking the girl with me. Not if I can help it. Got you. Now, drop her. Get clear, girl. Get clear. Hold on to her, mister. Betty, Betty, are you all right? All right. Look, look. They're both going up. Let go. Let go, Scarlet. Not on your life. Good grief. Captain Scarlet, can you hear me? You off. I'll follow you. Can't you bring him down? I can't reach control. Got to hang on. No, you don't. Did you pick up 
rifle? Captain Blue? I sure did. Then shoot. Don't worry about... There. That's your radio fixed. There's nothing your Captain Blue can do to stop us. You, you won't get away. No. I've got a boat waiting. Maybe I didn't kill you, but you're as good as trapped when we reach the sea. If only I can get in a shot. But I can't risk hitting Captain Scarlet, not with this rifle. I must follow. SPV. Oh, no good. I need something open. Just the thing. An old motorbike. Can't be many of these left now, but it'll do fine for this job. Nearly there, Scarlet. There's the sea. I'm hanging on, Black. Staying with you till Captain Blue catches up. Nearly at the sea. If I take the cliff road, maybe get in a shot while they're over the water. If only I can hit the hover pack. But I've got to risk it. Not far. Now, Scarlet. I'll get you, Black. Oh. About year, you said, Captain? Yes, this is where they fell, all right. Well, I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't see nothing. And currents is treacherous, you're about. Maybe, uh... There! Look there! That patch of red! Ah, I see him. Nearly there. Boy, tis a man. Been pretty knocked about. Captain Scarlet. Don't worry, he'll survive okay. But I don't see no sign of t'other feller. I fear he'd be drowned for certain. Drowned? I wish I could think you were right. Somehow, I don't think we've seen the last of Captain Black. Not yet.